Welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. And on this episode, I'll be talking about Black and Blue. Um, it's the cop drama that came out starring Naomi Harris, Frank Grillo, Mike Coulter, and Tyrese. Uh, it focuses around a New Orleans cop. She she comes back home and she's in a like a bad neighborhood and she witnesses these corrupt cops murder someone. It's as cliche as they get in terms of corrupt cop movies. Um it throws you in real it shows you real quick that there's like some race issues. She's running uh in the neighborhood and then some white cops pull her over, give her a hard time, find out that she's a cop, and then they don't even apologize. So right off the bat, you know there's some race tensions in this area. And she's a new cop. She's trying to be good, she's trying to do things by the book. Again, it's her neighborhood, and it doesn't even matter. It's like she has to choose between the two, black people or being a cop. And once she's a cop, all the other cops tell her that she's no longer black. You know, they they mention that often. Uh, the community, again, doesn't like cops. So once she witnesses this murder, the cops want her dead. The community don't like her. The community wants her dead. So her main goal is trying to get the footage back to the station and you spend an hour and 45 minutes running around New Orleans and she's basically hiding for the most part. Uh, the only friend she really has is Tyrese, who's somebody she she knew when she she lived there before and they try to help each other out to get to the station. Uh, Frank Grillo is one of the corrupt cops. He's, he's basically in another movie. He's on 110. He's like up here. All his first few lines, he's just up here. He's yelling. He's cursing at people. He's threatening to shoot people. He already shot some people. So, you know, he's good for it. He's just like in a completely different movie. He's going really, really extreme. Uh, it's not a great movie. Honestly, it's it's very predictable. I think Frank Grillo is better in uh, Point Blank. Uh, it's a Netflix movie I reviewed. I'll probably leave a link up there. Um, he's in that movie with uh, Anthony Mackie. I enjoyed that. There's some corrupt cops in that movie. It was a much better watching experience because it was funnier. This one, not very funny. All the, you know, fake thug gangbanger people um, in the neighborhood with, you know, all these weapons trying to kill cops. It's just strange and weird. Uh, Naomi Harris was fine. Um, she was tough at times, but for the most part, she just looked like a, a rookie cop scared, you know, for her life as she was just, just put through the ringer, you know, basically for, it seemed like two or three days. She was just on a, on a run, constantly on the move, trying to, trying to get this, uh, camera to the station. Um, I wouldn't suggest going to see it. Um, I'll wait for it to come out on cable because it'll probably be there really soon. And again, the performances, not very great. Oh, Mike Coulter, uh, Luke Cage is in this. And no, 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 just no. He needs to do something different. That This character was not it. Honestly, it was not it. Uh, the gangbanger king guy who, you know, he's, he runs the streets or whatever. Yeah supposed to be real sophisticated. It, it just wasn't working for me at all in this movie. Um, but other than that, just av avoid this movie if you can. Um, but let me know if you've seen this movie. What did you think about it? Because I just, I wasn't feeling it. I I, I honestly wasn't feeling it. It was just very cliche, um, bad cops. Boom, S stick a name on it. And we've seen this movie a hundred times already. You know. So let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Deuces.